Prince Charles Horror, aides stunned as man with crossbow arrested at his London home. Prince Charles was left in shock after a man was arrested at his London residence in possession of various weapons. The suspect was believed to be in possession of a crossbow, 14 bolts and a large knife, according to the Sun. The suspect also reportedly had latex gloves inside a vehicle in a car park at St. James Palace. The man was seen by police when he was walking on foot in the mall area. A car key was also found on the man and police then discovered weapons in the vehicle, it has been alleged. Police have named the man as Andrew Marshall, 44, from Nottingham. He was arrested and charged with two counts of possession of weapons in a public place. He is yet to enter a plea and was bailed out by Westminster J.P.'s to Southwark Crown Court on March 19. It comes as Prince Charles sent Instagram into meltdown with an emotional post a couple of days ago. The Prince of Wales often updates his social media followers with updates on his goings-on and whereabouts. This week was no different as he embarked on another poignant visit to a company that works with local charities. The owner of the company, Emma Willis, also started another charity that is close to the Prince's heart. Ems Willis also began Style for Soldiers, a charity that provides transitional clothes for injured servicemen and women. Charles Post included multiple photographs of his visit to the workshop, and a video of him meeting a Syrian refugee at the company. The Post read, in Gloucester today, the Prince of Wales turned the at Emma Illumden workshop. The workshop maintains traditional methods of shirt making and hand cutting whilst introducing local young people to the industry through employment and training. The company works with local charities in Gloucester to help support people in need through employment. In the cutting room, His Royal Highness today met two of the company's cutters, Nareen Hussein and Ibrahim Khalil, who are both Syrian refugees. Later, in the sewing room, the prince met at Condonest sewing scholars. The program offers local young people, who are unable to go to university a five-year placement at Emma's factory to learn key sewing skills. In 2008, Emma started at Style for Soldiers, a charity providing complimentary smart clothing and bespoke walking sticks for injured servicemen and women. His Royal Highness this afternoon met staff and injured service personnel sponsored by the charity and viewed pieces of artwork that were included in the art in the aftermath exhibition. The exhibition was on display in 2018 and featured painting, poetry, film, and sculpture by injured service personnel recovering through the creative process from the trauma of war.